Hi everyone, welcome to Paw Paw's Workshop. I just came in from the mailbox and guess what? I have my new laser mount from JTEX Photonics. Now I had made one just a few days ago to be able to get my laser back running and now I have the new one. So today, let's put this on together and try it out. Let's get started. I literally just finished engraving this and I haven't even taken it off of the table yet. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. So there we have the next logo that I've done with my JTAC Photonics laser and my little workaround mount that I made out of wood. It's worked well, but I'm excited to try out the new one that JTAC Photonics sent to me. Now this mount that I've been using now for the last several days has worked extremely well. But it's a good time to be able to retire this and put it away and try the brand new one. There we go. So I'm really happy with the way this has performed, but I'm real excited to be able to see what J at JTEC Photonics has come up with. Hey, I've got a new sticker to be able to put onto my CNC machine. And here it is. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put this on. You know what's interesting? It looks pretty similar to the one that I designed. I think this is going to work real well. And I have a feeling that the hole on each side is designed to be able to access the locking mechanism on the router. So let's go do this. Let's put this new mount onto the router and see how it works. The good thing on the inside, it has the magnets just like the old one did. Of course it has the holes up here for those screws to be able to slip into. Now, I had to go ahead and loosen up the screw to be able to slip it on. The good thing is it is a real tight fit and that's actually good. You really don't need to have a lot of play here. You want it snug and the screw it just helps to be able to hold it in place. This looks nice. Now I want to show you as I slip this on, I can still have access to that locking mechanism. So that's absolutely perfect. So let me go ahead and tighten this down now. So to be able to have just one screw hold it in place is excellent. I'm going to turn that just a little bit. But that works great. That's the easy access to that button. Perfect. Now I'll take my laser and just bring that right back around here. Slip it on. And there it is. It's mounted, ready to go. That's perfect. So I can retire my old one and use this one now. I like it. I gotta say this is gonna be a perfect design I believe. Now this mount was designed so that it has the hole on each side. There's a lot of people out there that have this router turned around the other direction and they would need to have this on this side for that button access. So I like what he did there that is actually perfect. So now it can be positioned exactly the way it needs to be positioned onto the router. So it can literally go on either way depending on how your router is mounted 
and still have access to the button. So this is perfect. It gives good access. I like it. Thank you very much, Jay. This is awesome. I can't think of a single thing that I would change. Looking at the back of this mount, where the screw holds and tightens the mount to the router, there is plenty of room there between that screw and the Z-axis. That's plenty of clearance, so that is perfect. This is well thought out, well designed. I like it a lot. One of the nice things about this, and I've explained this before, but when I'm doing the laser, I make sure that there's no bit inside of the collet on the router itself, and that gives a clear path. The other thing that I do is when I switch over and start doing the carving with the X-Carve with the router, I just go ahead and take this off. Those are strong magnets. I can take this off and I disconnect the two connectors there and of course remove my velcro and I set this aside and then I can go ahead and do my carving there is no need there's no need to be able to remove the mount I think that will be able to stay in place another excellent feature of this is this mount is actually below where the nut is on the router and that way there's no danger of the router itself hitting the surface and that's excellent now of course when I'm doing the laser engraving there's no bit in the router at all but this is perfect as well designed to make sure that the router itself does not hit the waste board and then when I get ready to use a laser I just simply slip it back onto the mount and I'm ready to go there's no need to remove the mount now I'm going to set something up to engrave and have some fun. This is perfect. Thanks, Jay. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also, check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.